So Mike White is clear to play and just in time. I mean, here we are. We're still in it. We're still in it. We win both these games. We're almost definitely in. I don't want to jinx it, knock on wood, but is New England going to really beat uh, Miami and uh, what should we call it? The Buffalo Bills? I don't think so. I think that Miami is going to beat them. And then I think that we're going to beat Seattle and we're going to be in a final game. I felt it all season long. A win and we're in against Miami, but more importantly, win in send Miami home. That's what we want, right? Of course, because they're a division rival and we wouldn't be Jet fans if that's not what we wanted, even though I personally don't have anything against anybody that roots for another football team. Still, you're a division rival, so we have to be happy to send you home. Now, but more importantly, Mike White is clear to play. What does that mean? Well, look, I'm not going to sit here and act like we're getting back Tom Brady. So I don't want to hear it, even though I'm going in the comments because you can't help yourself. I hate Mike White, so I have to type something. Even though he didn't say anything about Mike White being great, I still have to type something to complain because I'd rather have who? Who would you rather have? I know who Tony Alexia would rather have, but if you're not named Tony, tell me who you'd rather have in there because anybody else and eh, wrong. No one gives us the best chance to win like Mike White does. Maybe a future Zach Wilson. It's possible. But right now, at this moment, this is our best chance to win. Mike White played three games, 62% completion rate. Is that great? No, but better than Zach, better than anyone we have on the team as far as passing, over 900 yards, which means over 300 yards a game on those three games that he played. So over 300 yards a game, 62% average, quarterback rating 85. Is that anything to write home about? No. Is that what we want for next year, unless he gets better and can put up better numbers, but those kind of numbers? No. But are those kind of numbers enough on this team to win 10 to 11 games and be a legitimate playoff team? Absolutely it is. No question. When we've gotten any kind of competency from the quarterback position, we play well. We compete. We don't always win, but we compete. We're there. We're in the game. Well, guess what? Seattle ain't no Super Bowl team, man. They're no. They're not a great, great team, and they're not hot. They've been suffering lately, struggling lately, not playing well. So there's no excuses this time. We have a quarterback who could come in and play competently. We have a quarterback that could say to the other team, you want to put eight men in the box, I'm going to eat you alive with Garrett Wilson and Elijah Moore. You know why those no names sound old and unfamiliar? Because we didn't have a competent quarterback who could drop back and throw to those guys. Well, guess what? Those guys can come back now, and they could be a real weapons now because we have a quarterback that's able to at least read a defense, at least be decisive, and make throws and not throw it 10 feet away from our players or at their feet. Does that mean Mike White is great? No, it means he's been an NFL quarterback, though. Some type of competency, which gives us hope. Just in line with Miami losing yesterday to Green Bay, we are alive. We are alive and kicking. I will see you on Sunday when we play Seattle. I can't wait. It's going to be like a playoff field game, and we'll be at the watch party with Green Beam, and everybody who's anyone will be there. I heard a rumor that Frankie from Flatbush might even be with us. Wouldn't that be something? So look, it's going to be a crazy, crazy day on Sunday. Mike White is active. We have a chance to make the playoffs. Let's see how far the kid can take us. And go Jack. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Look, if you like the channel and you watch my videos, then subscribe. It's so simple. Look, it's right there. You just hit the guy, hit the face right there and you subscribe. You could like the video. That helps. Liking the video helps if you like the video or watch another video. And again, I'll say I can't say it too many times. Go Jack.